Known as one of the most difficult tasks in the world, this is one of the world's most expensive casinos, costing a massive $5.85 billion when it was completed in 2009. And if you wish, you can take a dip in the world's largest infinity edge pool that has the capacity of 380,000 gallons, nearly a million and a half liters of water. This is Iconic Builds, and today we are looking at the Marina Bay Sands. The Marina Bay Sands design is inspired by a house of cards. Two playing cards are leaned against each other to form a triangle, and a flat of one's hand is placed, which exerts a little pressure, leading to bending the card inwards, which is just enough to create some amazing curves. The site comes together as three buildings that stand at three 55-story towers that include a 1.2-hectare sky park. Safety Architects was approached by Las Vegas Sands Corporation to design this project in order to help it win the bid to build the city's first integrated resort. But why does it express such extreme ideas? Well, the three towers exist because the developer originally wanted one massive tower, but the architect believed that would create a wall separating Singapore's downtown from the seafront. Safety created a dynamic urban crossroads and public meeting place by weaving together the components of a complex project, inspired by great ancient cities that were organized around a vital public thoroughfare, the Deck Humanus and Cardo. Marina Bay Sands is organized around two major axes that traverse the district and give it a sense of orientation, emphasizing the pedestrian street as the focal point of civic life. The waterfront promenade, an 800,000 square foot, or 74,000 square meter, multi-level retail arcade, and the iconic Museum of Art Science on the promontory are all part of this new urban space. A casino, a 96,000 square foot, or 9,000 square meter, convention and exhibition center, and a 54,000 square foot, or 5,000 square meter, hydraulically adjustable public event piazza, are also located along the network of public paths. The double-loaded towers form a massive atrium at the lower levels and converge as they rise. The tower slabs add character to the massing and relate to the site context. The glazed west side faces the city center, while the east side faces the botanical gardens and the ocean beyond. Each tower slab form is also twisted slightly in relation to its pair, creating a dance-like relationship between the two parts and emphasizing the building's slenderness, giving the impression of six towers rather than three. Safety placed a high value on designing a facade solution because the west facade receives the most heat. A custom double-glazed unitized curtain wall was proposed and implemented as the design solution. The energy-efficient double-glazed units are suspended from the slab's edge. Glass fins were installed perpendicular to the facade to provide shading. The outer skin follows the building's natural curved shape and reflective glass creates a taut, mirrored facade. The district is anchored by the towers, which are linked at the top by the 2.5-acre Sky Park. The Sky Park is a 656-foot or 200-meter-high engineering marvel that spans from tower to tower and cantilevers 213 feet or 65 meters beyond. It has a public observatory, gardens, a swimming pool that is 495 feet long, or 151 meters, restaurants and jogging paths, as well as sweeping panoramic views, which is a valuable resource in a densely populated city like Singapore. The Sky Park, which is wind protected and lavishly planted with hundreds of trees, celebrates the Garden City concept, which has been the foundation of Singapore's urban design strategy. While the high-rise hotel towers and Sky Park helped to make Marina Bay Sands an iconic structure. Safty also humanized such a massive project. It's a key principle in his design philosophy. Although it was not required by the project, he chose to set the high-rise buildings back and away from the waterfront, 
It's clear that Safdie put a lot of thought and effort into creating such a beautiful piece of architecture, and it will continue to provide Singapore a place of entertainment.